Holland David Sanders was born on the 9th of September 1890 in Henryville, Indiana, United States. He was the first child of his parents, David and Margaret Sanders, who were devout Christians. Holland's father was a farmer who worked on his 80-acre farmland until he had an accident that broke his leg, making him unfit to continue working on the farm. Holland's mother was a strict parent who frequently warned her children of the dangers of gambling drugs, alcoholism, and other negative practices. When Haaland became five years old, his father died, leaving him and the siblings to be looked after by their mother alone. In a bid to provide for her children in the absence of her husband, Haaland's mother got a job in a tomato cannery. As the first child, Haaland was responsible for looking after his siblings while his mother was at work. In 1902, the family was subjected to an adult's environment in Greenwood, Indiana, after Holland's mother remarried. Holland didn't have a healthy relationship with his stepfather, which compelled him to leave the home by 14. He got a job to work as a farmhand in Southern Indiana. After many years of working various odd jobs, he started a ferry boat business on the Ohio River and later sold tires in Winchester, Kentucky. At 40, Holland opened a restaurant in a gas station where he served chicken dishes. He was a very good cook at the time. A decade later, Holland had acquired a motel and his restaurant became a huge success. However, something tragic happened which took the hard-working man back to square one. His motel and restaurant were destroyed due to a mysterious fire accident. But Holland later bounced back after opening another restaurant and developing a special chicken recipe, Kentucky Fried Chicken which he franchised to beat Harman, the owner of a very large restaurant in the city. The sales of specially made fried chicken tripled Harman's revenue. This made other restaurant owners to franchise the chicken recipe as well as paid Holland a certain amount for every chicken sold. In 1955, Holland's restaurant failed. This happened after an interstate route that led to huge traffic past the restaurant was changed. The same year, Haaland decided to approach another large restaurant across the country to sell his franchise special chicken recipe. However, he was countlessly declined by more than a thousand restaurants. Haaland never gave up. He kept proposing his offer until one restaurant accepted his idea. This one successful approach led Haaland to become the owner of one of the world's largest restaurants today, Kentucky Fried Chicken (KFC). The restaurant he founded is now a multi-billion dollar establishment with outlets in virtually every part of the world. Sometimes, the circumstances of life may make you believe that all your hard work and effort are a waste of time since there is nothing tangible to show for it. In times like this, you may have the urge to give up and stop fighting for your dream. However, don't ever develop that strong desire to quit because your breakthrough might just be around the corner. Bear Grylls said, Survival can be summed up in three words, never give up. For you to survive the difficulties of life, you must learn not to give up. The moment you surrender to your present circumstances, it will be impossible for you to survive amidst such problems. Thomas Edison said, Our greatest weaknesses lies in giving up. The most certain way to succeed is always to try just one more time. The key reason why most people ended up being a complete failure without becoming great is because they gave up. Success only comes to those who keep trying relentlessly even if you fail. Always strive to try again. Roy T. Bennett said, Keep going. Your hardest time often leads to the greatest moments of life. One of the significant reasons why you should never give up is because difficult times are always rounded off with success. When a situation is becoming difficult, bear in mind that it would eventually result in something pleasant. Keep chasing your dreams and don't give in or lose focus.